Hello everyone. Welcome to Idhuru's Diaries. Uh, today's recipe is one of the best fried rice that is paneer fried rice. Let's get into the procedure. First I have taken a kadai and added butter to it. It's an optional if you can add oil also but I want to do with the butter. Once butter is melted like this then a pinch of salt then a quarter spoon garam masala and also add the paneer uh, paneer you take the fresh paneer and cut that into the cubes and you add that now mix properly and let this paneer cook like a crisp uh, means it should come golden brown color just mix gently and cook it uh, please make sure that you will cook in the medium flame to low flame so this is how it will fry nicely so you have to cook uh, mix thoroughly gently otherwise it will burn one side and other side it won't be cooked properly so make sure that the paneer cubes are fried nicely and once it is fried we can take filter the oil or the butter and keep us take aside and keep aside in the same kadai you can use and little butter is there and we may need a little more oil oil or a butter or a ghee it's your choice i'm adding one spoon of oil then one um, onion that i have cut that into uh, very thin uh, cubes then once the onion is getting fried then also add carrot carrot also take one carrot and cut into the cubes thin cubes so that it will cook fast a uh, later green chili i am taking two green chili uh, those also cut into small pieces if you if you like more spice you can add one more and mix it all these things should cook in a medium flame and the uh, carrot onion green chili everything should cook properly mix thoroughly and cook and uh, add one spoon of cumin seeds then one spoon of pepper powder so make sure that we are not adding chili powder here that's the reason we are adding pepper and green chili and also salt salt you can add according to your taste once you added all those things give a nice mix because all the vegetables whatever you kept here right those should cook thoroughly yes the same way you mix uh, very frequently and gently and cook i think uh, it's almost cooked now we can add a coriander leaves also if possible that coriander leaves that stem will be there right that you can add uh, or else you can add um, onion spring onion also if you don't have spring onion then you can add coriander leaf stems then add the cooked rice so i have cooked uh, basmati rice here then i'm adding because it it uh, you know tastes nicely or else you can have you can add normal cooked rice also leftover rice whatever the rice is available with you, you can add and let the rice mix thoroughly with the vegetables whatever we already cooked so this is how it looks like it's a perfect and restaurant style looking fried rice i can see that then at the end we can add one spoon of ghee it will give a, a very very uh, good flavor it's an optional if you don't like ghee you don't need to add then mix it then also add the fried paneer cubes which we have we have already fried and kept aside and mix nicely this is how it looks like i think this time for me the paneer fried rice came very well and uh, maybe you can try the same recipe it will be really uh, tasty and healthy and it's not big procedure also uh, then it's ready to serve so you can see right the texture and the rice also it came very nicely if you like this recipe please subscribe to my channel that's iduru's diaries 
एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग